Welcome, my viewers and my listeners of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor, broadcasting all the way from Minnesota, USA. I want to thank God for this day that he has made that I should rejoice and be glad in it. Happy new month of August. Now, August is the eighth month. Oh, on the year 2021, what a blessing. Number eight, so body, you know, biblically so, uh, sobrises new beginning. And also it sobrises the the time of plentiness or you know, of abundance so stay with me as is always the beginning of every month we commit every day to god in prayer what is the use for this is to make you on myself re remember when we go through mountains and fires we know that the lord is in charge how about uh, when you meet uh, mountains and you, maybe there are blessings you remember it is not because of your own strength it's because of the lord and you give him all the glory and the honor the guiding scriptures will be from deuteronomy 8 from verse 6 to 12 from new king james fashion but i want us to start uh, by committing this month to god in prayer let me first of all pray the regular prayer father in jesus name as i share your word as i encourage my fear and my listeners to be committing every month every day to you oh god use me as a vessel dear lord may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee oh god i pray that i may decrease as you increase and at the end of it oh god you shall receive all the glory and all the honor in jesus name amen and amen maybe you are wondering Every day to God in prayer, how long will that take? I want to tell you, you can count right now. You can start counting. I am at uh, 1 minute and 40 seconds. Lord God, I thank you for this first day of August. Thank you for 2nd of August. Thank you for that of August. Thank you for 4th of August. Thank you for August 5th. Thank you for August 6th. Thank you for August 7th. Thank you for August 8th, which is 8-8 eight, eight of every year. I always remember it's my anniversary being in the healthcare field, and I'm grateful for that. Thank you for August 9th. Thank you for August 10th. Thank you for August 11th. Thank you for August 12th. Thank you for August 13th. Thank you for August 14th. Thank you for August 15th. Thank you for August 16th. Thank you for 17th of August. Thank you for 18th of August. Thank you for 19th of August. Thank you for 20th of August. Thank you for 21st of August, Lord. Thank you for the 22nd of August. Thank you for the 23rd of August. Thank you for 24th of August, oh Lord. Thank you for the 25th of August. Thank you for August 26th. Thank you for August 27th. Thank you for August 28th. Thank you for August 29th. Thank you for August 30th. And thank you for August 31st. And because we have committed the beginning of this month to the end into your hand, Lord, we're giving you thank for it in a defense. Oh, Lord, we want to be peaceful, to enjoy, to celebrate every day with joy, knowing that we have committed it to you. I thank you, Lord. And it is my prayer that my few and my listeners will adopt this me me uh, method, oh God, so that they don't have to live in complaint. I lived in complaint and it did not help me anything. But in worship and in trust in you, that when we commit to you everything, we, we, we live a joyful and peaceful life, irrespective of any circumstances surrounding us. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. It didn't even take long now, my three minutes and 33 seconds. Wow. So our guiding scriptures, Deuteronomy 8 from verse 6 to 12, the Bible says, Therefore you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and springs that flow out of the fires and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil, oh God, and honey, a land in which you will eat bread without scarcity, oh, in which you will lack nothing, a land which who, who, whose stones are iron and and of whose hills you can dig copper. When you have eaten and are full, then you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land which he has given you. Beware that you do not forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments, his judgments, and his statutes, which I command you today. Lest when you have eaten and are full and have built beautiful houses and dwell in them, let me go continue to that in. And when your hands and your frogs multiply, and your silver and your gold are multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied, 
When your heart is lifted up and you forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, who led you through that great and terrible wilderness in which you were, in which you were fiery serpents, oh, in which, in which were fiery serpents and, and, and scorpions and, and scorpions and thus they land where there was no water who brought water for you out of the flint rock who fed you in the wilderness with manna which your fathers did not know that he might humble you and that he might test you to, to do you good in the end then you say in your heart my power and my might of my hand have gained me this world let me tell you I'm going to stop there but you better continue to the end I read up to verse 17 Number eight, representing new beginning. I don't know what kind of life you've been living. I don't know what discouragements you've been living through. I don't know what kind of success you have had. But I want to tell you, God has brought you to a new beginning where you need to recognize it is the Lord that has brought you this far. May you, may you know that God has brought you to another page. Like you can open up a new page. If you don't open a new page as you are reading the book, you cannot know what is happening thereafter. The continuation of the story of that chapter of the book that you are reading. And so at this time, I want to pray this song that God has given me. Open a new page, Lord. May the Lord help you remember that we are in a new beginning in Jesus' name. Hopefully, I am going to get it in Jesus' name. Hopefully, it's going to pray. Let's see. Let's see here. Kind of, um, just bear with me a little bit here. Oh, I'm not sure what's happening. There we go. My friend, as you listen to this yes. song, open mm -hmm. a new page. Mm -hmm. Every book, mm -hmm. until you have opened another page, yes. you cannot know what is happening mm -hmm. in our lives. Yes. You may go through a situation, mm -hmm. but not until you have taken a step, seeking the face of the Lord, so that you know what is there. May your heart be open to know what God has for you, just like in a book, that you can open, you can tell the Lord, open a new page, Lord, yes. and you're going to see things are going to open up. Mm -hmm. Joy of peace Amen. and blessing. Lord, during this month of August, which marks a new beginning, to open a new page in your life, and you'll never be the same anymore. the Lord open a new page, beginning of this um, August, forget the order of the former things that have drained your strength, rely on the Lord, he's doing a new thing in your life, if you have not trusted him, he'll make all things new, 
Behold, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. Let the newness come in you because of Christ. Oh, yes. Forget the former things. We are in a new man. Focus on the Lord. Well, new beginning. August. Number eight represent new beginning. The Bible tells us in the book of Second Timothy, Second Corinthians five seventeen. Behold, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things are gone, and the new has come. If you are there, you have never trusted the Lord. It is a high time you tell Him, I surrender all. You give Him your life so that you start the newness of life in Christ. How about those disturbing stuff that you have had going on in your life? Maybe in your career, maybe in your parenting, maybe in your marriage. Let me tell you, God is doing a new thing. Let you not live in the, in the, in the past of failures, in the past of regrets, because our God is a God of a second chance. Remember, the Bible tells us, a righteous man may fall seven times, yet he shall stand again. Our God is a God of another chance. He's a God of a, of a second chance chance. He's a God of another chance. He has given you another man, another new man. Remember August, uh, uh, first, the August of 2020, we were rocked down. We were rocked in in the pandemic. But I want to thank God even as I say that August 8, 8, 8, always mark the anniversary when I started working in the healthcare. That was many years. That when was that? 2007. I want to thank God that being in the healthcare, uh, throughout the pandemic, there is no... I, time I ever called in. And every time I would go there, the grace of God would give me new strength. I want to encourage you, my brother, my sister, whatever pandemic you might have gone through, if it's of finances, if it's in a chaos in your own life, in your moral values, God is making all things new because he will not counter your past mistake. Once he forgives you, when you realize that God forgives and forget, it will be new for you. You'll be having new celebration every day. Why? Not because everything is all good, but because you know God is in charge and you're not going to fear the terror by night because you know, eh, fear not, God is in charge. God is in charge of your life. God is in charge in your marriage. God is in charge of your children. God is in charge of your career. God is in charge even on that of that new job that you have. May, may you be encouraged to know God is doing a new thing. And like we read in the scriptures, which I would encourage you to do a Bible study of Deuteronomy chapter 8. It is that when God is bringing to a land of bountiful. When he is doing this new thing in your life, when he elevates you and he elevates me, let us be careful not to forget him but to thank him. As you open a new page of blessing, let us remember to give him all the glory and all the honor. Why? He has said he'll never share his glory with any man. So, 
happy new month of August in Jesus' name. I want to pray with you. I don't want to tire you with the words. Let us pray and believe God for the newness of your life, for the newness of your zeal in the Lord. You are there. You used to be very zealous for God. You used to be very active in the world, or in, the, in the field of the ministry, but now you cooled down because you came to a place that, that froze with milk and honey. You went out into that house, that mansion, and you forgot the Lord. Do not relax in the spirit. It's a high time that you serve the Lord like never before. My prayer has been as you bless me, Lord. I want to serve you more and more. Can you join me, my brother, my sister? Celebrate your moment with joy. Need you. We encourage each other. I always say like it's like a pedals of a bicycle. We encourage each other. That's why I'm trying to, uh, to encourage you so that we keep the fire burning, the fire of praising the Lord, the fire of serving the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, I've given your word. Should there be anyone that I spoke that was not supposed to be given, let your Holy Spirit filter it, that my fear and my listener will only get that which you wanted them to hear. For the glory and honor of thy name, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Now, it all start from a personal identity. Do you want to trust the Lord to save you, to transform your life from a sinner to a saint, from a careless person to a careful person? From a fearful person to that person who relaxes in the presence of the Lord. Do you want to say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I thank you for your word. Thank you for your love for me. Thank you for sending Jesus Christ for my life. Jesus, I invite you in my heart. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you pray that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. Do two things. Testify of what has happened in your life. That you have accepted the Lord to save you. Why? We overcome by our testimonies and by the power of the blood of Christ. Next, hook yourself to a group of fellowship of believers that teach the word of God without compromise from Genesis to Revelation because it is in the word of God that you grow and in your faith will be stabilized because faith is the heart that receives from the Lord. Last but not least, remember to subscribe to my channel of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. And before you subscribe, please listen to the entire message or whichever or song. Check on my book, Fear Not God is in Charge. You need it now. You need it now more than ever. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember every moment you breathe in and breathe out is a reason for you to celebrate with joy. Thank you.